We all experience time, but we find it difficult to explain to others. We know that it moves in one direction like an arrow, always moving forward. Yesterday exists in our memory, and we can't go back. Now is what we currently think or feel. Tomorrow has not happened, but it will. We measure time with devices called clocks, but they do not define time. We know that time is repetition because that's how we measure it. A long time ago, early man used the sundial to measure time based on the repetition of the Earth. One rotation of the Earth is one day. One orbit around the Sun is one year. In 1656, the first pendulum clock was built using the repetition of the pendulum swing to measure time. Now, the official time for the U.S. is an atomic clock in Colorado, which measures time based on the repetition of the cesium atom. So we know how to measure time with devices we call clocks. But what is time? Every particle and everything that we see responds to energy waves in the universe. The repetition of these waves, known as frequency, is what defines our sense of time. Inside everything are molecules made of atoms, built from particles like electrons. Particles respond to energy waves, and waves are repetitive cycles which measure time. When not in motion, everything beats at the same rate—a universal clock. Now we have the definition of time. Time is the repetition of energy waves that flow through every particle in the universe. But there is a twist. Time can appear different for objects at great distances or great speeds. Why? The wave travels at a speed known as the speed of light. Events like a star explosion are recorded in the wave. It takes time for this information to reach us, depending on the distance. Over long distances, clocks will not agree on time. For example, a star exploding at one o'clock may be seen at two o'clock on planet Messi, or four o'clock on Earth. Similarly, what we think of as today is being carried in the wave. If another planet viewed us with a giant telescope, it would take many. Many years for them to see our today because of the speed of the wave. Now imagine traveling at great speeds on the spaceship to another planet. Time will appear to be different between your ship and home because of the Doppler effect. The Doppler effect is a perceived change in the frequency of a wave when an object is moving. An example is a moving car. It produces a sound wave that sounds higher before reaching you than lower after passing. This is because the wavelength is shorter in front and longer behind because it is moving. The same thing happens to the energy wave responsible for time. As the spaceship moves, it catches up with the energy waves it emits, changing the frequency pattern responsible for time. 
You do not know this time running slower on the spaceship, but at home on Earth, the clock is different. In summary, time is the flow of energy waves through every particle. Its repeating wave cycles allows us to measure time of clocks. But clocks appear different because of distance and motion. That's all the time we have. Thanks for joining!